How's it going, YouTube? Welcome back. My name's Teddy. Windows, the size of walls. Alright, guys. It should be extremely noticeable, right? Now, this e-boy, who's only a couple inches tall on any given day, actually met someone that could not understand that windows are see-through. Now guys, please help me understand how you could stand in front of a window and think that it's a wall. Please comment down below if you guys, you know, have ever dealt with this before. Now, for the sake of this video, we're going to call this girl Becky. But we hired Becky and her sister to, you know, work with us. The whole usual shit. Now, Becky was unusual. Now... Her eyes would go ahead and blink one at a time when she was confused with things, and you had to talk slowly because she was always confused with everything that you said. There were days that I would, you know, consider if she, you know, knew how to breathe, or did she know what air was? It was bad, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm not hating her, she probably wasn't that dumb, but... She really did not understand when you would tell her to grab this or grab that. Now, this had something to do with, you know, why she started to hate her job. I mean, come on, we all hate our jobs, but she decided that she was going to go about it a different way. She wanted to call off. Now, I've called off. I'm sure you guys have all done the same thing, but what made this girl special, what made Becky extremely special was the fact that she decided to go about it in the most awkward way that you could possibly do it. Now, in Becky's mind, she had this plan that she was going to have someone take her to the job. Yes, she came to the job. The issue with that is she came when the general manager was at the job. Now, any normal person, if they don't want to work, they don't leave their house. They don't leave their bed. They call. You try to act sick. You know, you might sneeze. Achoo, achoo, all that dumb shit. But no, she decided she was going to come in and stand in front of a window. This window is the size of a full wall. You can see the whole person when they're standing in this window. Now, I'm sure some of you guys, you know, understand how windows function. You know, I don't have to tell you that glass is see-through. I mean, at least I would hope I don't have to explain it. But, oh, no, no, no. Not Becky. See, Becky... Then decides she's going to pull out her phone and call the job, which she is still standing in front of, you know, this huge pane of glass, which happens to be standing in front of, you know, the bathrooms where all the employees and especially the general manager happens to go at this given time. Sadly, she's worked this time before several days, you know, prior to this week. So she knows when the general manager is going to be there. But no, she decides she's going to continue to stand there. Guys, I was there when the call was made. I was there when the general manager picked up the phone. And whenever someone calls, you knew they were going to call off. It's just what you do. So we were expecting it. Our general manager walks out of the kitchen. Now, it was going great. She was talking to her, and, you know, Becky was telling her how she wasn't going to be able to come in because she was sick and all. As my general manager walks past this window. Us being nosy because we have nothing better to do, you know. We don't, we don't work. No, we're not going to do that. We decide we're going to go ahead and see what is going on because now the general manager is screaming. We go to the door when the general manager is coming back. Now, you could always tell when the general manager is mad because it's the look on her face. She always has the same look. I mean, it's like when you suck on a lemon and then you watch someone punch your dog, you know? 
you're mad, but yet your lips are all puckered up. So, long story short, our general manager, you know, she told us how she was still standing there talking on the phone, turned around to see my general manager standing there in the window watching her talk on this phone. This girl was a deer, you know, in the headlights on a highway. She was about to get hit by a giant bus called my giant, you know, my general manager. And you guys guessed it right. She was fired right there on the spot. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys ever want to call off work, I don't suggest you do it, you know, at the job. Don't Please, just don't sit on the counter, pull out your phone, and try to call off like, you know, you're really going to get it. Well, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like. Make sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell on if you guys want to see another video and hear about the stupid things that go on at my previous job. And maybe this coming up, I will start to do current job events.